So I've been trying for a while now to figure out how to do a world war simulator using chat GPT. This is a chat box launched by OpenAI and it feels like everyone is talking about it for how intelligent it can be. I mean schools are literally trying to ban it because it's writing entire essays for people. Big thanks to Troy here for helping me come up with the prompts because the thing is here the AI is actually not allowed to talk about conflict and war. It was very important that we had to specify that to make sure it even worked with us. I'll of course be trying to map out all the chaos that will be taking place in this world and try to see if we can follow along. Let's just throw it in here and see what it does. It's the year is 2023 and the Great Balkan War has started. Of course, another world war starting from the Balkans. So the involved countries are like the typical ones and the result is that Serbia wins annexing Kosovo and Montenegro. Well, this is certainly a very interesting start, I have to say that. We also have a united Baltic alliance that is formed up between Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. So these three up here are now on a little team. And we also have the Anglo-American defensive pact between the US and the UK. Now keep in mind, this is a defensive pact which might mean that these two countries are only going to come to each other's aid if they're invaded. It might not just be like a straight-up alliance where they both declare war on the same enemy. So those are all the things that happened in 2023. Now I can choose to go to the next year or I can ask more questions about certain events that took place. I'm just curious who fought against Serbia in that Great Balkan War. I'm pretty sure it was probably Bosnia and North Macedonia. In the Great Balkan War, Kosovo, Montenegro, Bosnia, they fought against Serbia. So yeah, there was a huge coalition to stop them. Serbia ultimately won the war, annexing Kosovo, I see. I kind of knew that, but I wanted to see if the AI was going to like keep up. Like I just want to know they weren't going to throw in a random country that wasn't mentioned before. So that war actually looks like this. These four nations versus Serbia and uh, Serbia won getting these two. All right, let's see what happens in 2024. 2024, the Russo-Ukrainian conflict involves countries, Russia, Ukraine. Ukraine wins annexing half of Russia, annex states. Oh, you're actually going to tell me the, oh, this is so much. How am I supposed to figure those out? We also have the Alliance of the Northern European Defensive Coalition and a Mediterranean pact between between Italy, Spain, Portugal, Greece, Cyprus. Okay, wait, how am I supposed to map out all of this? I can't believe it's giving me like the actual states it took. Okay, so the new borders of Eastern Europe look something like this with Ukraine having all of like Western Russia. And we also have the North European Defensive Coalition between pretty much all of the Nordic states. Well, except for Iceland, but they also get Greenland because it's under Denmark. And then there's also this Mediterranean Alliance between Portugal, Spain, Italy, Greece, and Cyprus. As you can see, two years into it, this world is already chaos. I'm just really curious how how did Ukraine win so fast? In the fictional scenario that I'm describing, Ukraine was able to win the Russo-Ukrainian conflict by using superior tactic strategies as well as perhaps having more advanced military technology or larger military. It is also possible for other countries provided assistance. That's what I was waiting for. Of course, it's also important to note that war is a complex and unpredictable event and there are often many factors that contribute. Wow. I just wanted to see like what countries maybe helped. In the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, it is it was not specified which countries provided support to Ukraine. I just mentioned that Ukraine was able to secure the backing of several other countries, but I did not specify. Ah, so you're not going to tell us. I see. I mean, maybe it was secretive. I think I can guess maybe one of the countries that helped them though. The year is 2025. We have the Sino-Indian conflict. Countries involved China and India. That is scary. China wins, annexing half of India. Okay, that seems like it might cause a little bit of some problems. China is looking scary. And I love that Southeast Asia responded by creating their own union. Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Brunei. Now that's a union. That means that all these countries are coming together to form basically one. What a way to respond to the aggression in the north here. These guys are actually looking pretty powerful. We also have an Arabian confederation that's formed up between Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Qatar, Oman, Kuwait, and Bahrain. And it's only a matter of time before these teams that are forming up, or sometimes the unions, the defensive packs, the alliances, they're gonna start fighting each other. I just wanna know if the AI would be able to give me the exact population number for this new union. It's not possible for me to predict. Okay, I was wondering. You could technically just do it all together. Oh, there it is. The population of these countries are 664. That is cool, but it is important to note that this is a rough estimate the actual population could slightly be higher or more. That's exactly what I wanted. So we have 664 million people here, which is quite a bit. Now, not as much as how many people that are in now this new China. I'm now asking for the new Chinese population number. Ah, uh, the AI doesn't want to give me the real number for that, though. It's probably too hard to predict because it only gave me half of India. The year is 2026, and we have the African Civil War involved countries, Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia. Okay, it is chaotic. Ethiopia wins annexing half of Egypt, though. We also have now an alliance forming in that continent, and then the pack of uh, Central American countries. So these are the involved nations in that African conflict. I guess they're not going to take anything from Sudan. They're just going to take the coast of Egypt. Very interesting team that formed up in the western part of Africa. We have Nigeria, Senegal, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Ghana. That was just, uh, they're not all together, which I kind of like. I like that they're not all bordering. It makes it a little more dynamic. And then we have a huge Central American team that is formed up probably to counteract the U.S. in the north. So again, here is a list of all the changes that have happened so far. 2023, 
27, the war for South America, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, uh, basically Argentina won. They annexed half of Brazil. They win the World Cup, and now this, they're a little bit too cocky. Safe to say, since there is a Caribbean pact that just formed up, um, Puerto Rico has gone independent. Since Puerto Rico is technically part of the U.S. We also have a nice East Africa Federation. Maybe they're a little bit afraid of Ethiopia and all the aggression they've done. Argentina looking very thick down here. So the Great North American War. Oh, this one's going to be huge. Results, the U.S. annexed half of Canada. I just need to, like, have the AI specify for me. So the U.S. fought against Canada and Mexico. Since Mexico was a part of that team, did other Central American nations join that? I realize the nations that are winning in these military conflicts are not getting the exact states that they're telling me, but as the game continues to progress, it's not going to matter that much because the borders are going to continue to change. I sure wouldn't be surprised if the U.S. just annexes all of Canada next. At least what I'm hoping for, but I don't know. And we also have a unified Oceania with, you know, basically Australia and New Zealand. There's a bunch of tiny islands, but I don't think that matters that much. Actually, they have Papua New Guinea as well. We have the War of 2029, the Great Eurasian War, involved countries Russia, China, India, Iran, Turkey, and China has just annexed the other half of Russia. I actually feel like Russia still exists. They just annexed 50% of the already 50% of annexed Russia. I'm actually not surprised at all after they took an L from Ukraine in the West. Of course, they were going to take an L from China in the East. China fought against Russia, India, Iran, and Turkey. It was all by themselves. We also have the second African Civil War. I love that they're keeping track of that. Once again, Ethiopia involved. Now Egypt wins, annexing half of Ethiopia. Wait, so how exactly does that work? I don't really know, but all right. It looks like ketchup and mustard. The Great Middle Eastern War, Iran, Turkey, Saudi Arabia. We have the result. Saudi Arabia wins, annexing all of Iran. Okay, well, that is easy enough to do. We also have the Second Great North American War, where the U.S. pretty much annexed everything. Canada and Mexico. And that is exactly why I did not draw the borders perfectly, because I figured this was going to happen. That saved me a lot of time. So this poor Central American alliance has really just gone down to the smaller places without Mexico involved. We also have this huge North American Union. I, did the UK help out with this? I wonder. It says they didn't actually get any specified assistance from the UK during that event. Okay, and now China has annexed the remaining part of all of Russia and India and Pakistan. China's going nuts. So all of Russia, all of India, all of Pakistan, all of Kazakhstan, all of Kyrgyzstan. Did they get all of Central Asia? Yeah, they got all four of these nations here. They What is going on in China? Okay, who is going to stop all of this? I mean, maybe North America over here. It's now 2035, the Great African War. We have Egypt annexing all of Ethiopia. So overall, they have won out in Ethiopia. We also have a Great South American War. Brazil annex all of... Oh, and then Brazil has come back in South America too. Egypt just completely wiped out this entire federation right here. Egypt's doing their own strategy here in Africa. I just want to know if the AI knows what Congo exactly. They annex the Congo. There are two countries in Africa that are named Congo, but in this case, it was the country located in Central Africa, also known as the DRC. That is crazy. Democratic People's uh, Congo is located in Central Africa. Okay, so they specifically mentioned the Democratic Republic of Congo, not the Congo Republic, which is smart because I think that connects all their territory. They got Angola, Namibia, South Africa. So Egypt has their own little like British Empire going on, like imperialization. Once again, the AI has completely wiped out an entire faction. Brazil was really angry, I guess. And then this union broke out into a civil war. It's no longer the union anymore. Vietnam annexed Thailand. They pretty much won ownership of the entire union, and they also got the Philippines included. This is clearly gone worldwide at this point. Like, the AI is simulating three different wars at a time. Same thing is happening. Australia is taking over that alliance down there in the corner. We don't have to change anything for that. The Great European War, the UK, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Portugal. Okay, that is, that is a lot. And Germany uh, is basically going into no-no German territory, I think. Germany annexed all of the UK, France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, Luxembourg, the Netherlands. Uh, okay, so this entire alliance is gone. We can just wipe that out. Also, Ireland's gone. Also, the UK is gone. Also, France is gone. I'm going to say that uh, Greenland is not annexed by Germany. It's just now independent. So this is what the new Germans look like, which they need to do something because they need to stop what's happening here in China. I just have to ask the AI about Switzerland. A series of fictional events that have taken place in this exercise. Switzerland has not been mentioned as a participant in any wars or has been annexed by any countries. They've remained neutral, of course. I want to make sure they added that word specifically. Oh yeah, China also got all of the Koreas, Mongolia, uh, Japan, and Taiwan back. Oh, not the whole ocean. The, the Just Taiwan. Let's see, without simulating any more who the AI would predict is the strongest nation on Earth right now. Uh, they're going to go with the easy answer. It's too many factors. Military capabilities, economic power, things like that. Make sure we have a climactic ending. I'm going to make sure we have all of the great powers in the world form up a massive world war and see who comes out on top. We have Brazil, the USA, Germany, China, and then Egypt. There's a couple more in here, but they're random factions. I guess Vietnam is a great power. Let's just see who controls the world at the end of the game. In a series of
of fictional events that have taken place in this exercise. The number of countries that have won wars in which uh, they have participated in event X countries, however, is not possible. Just pick one. It doesn't want to help me with this. Oh, the exercise has just come to an end. I didn't have the scenario where I just straight up asked him, like, no, just decide who wins. And then he just picked, let's say, the North American Alliance emerges victorious. There's some sort of British South Asian alliance going on. I don't know. Every time I do this, like, it's chaotically different. This time, he just said he can't simulate past 2037 and he won't even give me a winner anymore. But I guess it could be the North American Alliance, whatever that means. Escaped British people that ran away after Germany invaded the island and it's like Canadians in Mexico. Let me know if you'd like to see more simulations in chat GPT in the future. And big thank you to my patrons. Drew's Goth Girlfriend. Triv44, aka Drew, come to crack out Poland next vacation. Twicken, hamster. Drew's Argentinian a Grandpa. Norwal. $20 is a lot, Drew. Basely. B. Wild Brighton thing. is Carmel the best. DJ, Luxembourg, Orton, Lover. Five, Patrick, Robert, E. Rye, the, the Polish, Pie. Lithuanian, The Commonwealth. Mexican 760. Viotic. And Zany Boy 